So this is a 1995 Honda Prelude. We're asking $4,000 or best offer. I'm gonna give you the goods and the bads. The goods, it's in great shape. It's a JDM H22A dual overhead cam VTEC. It's really awesome. The engine has about 65,000 miles on it. The body has about 205,000 miles on it. Got an AEM cold air intake. It's a true cold air intake. It goes way down there. It also has headers, an Apexi M1 exhaust, a real Sabon carbon fiber hood. It's got Ray's G Games wheels. The rear brakes are drilled and slotted. The front brakes are standard vented. They had the drilled and slotted on the front as well. They wore out, so we just put the standard on there. It has fairly new Nexen tires on it. New master cylinder. Flushed all the way through. All the brake fluid is all clear all the way down. The interior is in great shape. Needs a little bit of cleaning. It usually just sits here. But it's really clean. This is the one with the, the long dashboard that looks really cool. The shift knob has been changed. It's kind of like a weird blue chrome. The problem is it gets really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. We do have the original right here. If you wanted to put that back on. And there's another one here in a package. It does have a Pioneer Bluetooth USB auxiliary stereo in it. There's Pioneer three ways in all the speaker plot spots. Along with this car, there's a stabilizer bar that goes inside the engine compartment. Two resonators. A bunch of extra stuff in here. We have these tools right here. You can actually change the stiffness of the springs. It's set to really stiff right now. There's a steering wheel adapter. If you want to change the steering wheel, it does not have a quick release, I don't believe. There's some extra turn signals in here. These are the original ones. The owner's manual. Now let's go over the bad things about this car. There's a lot, but they're all very small items. They're very tiny items. It has a small power steering leak that does not come from here. There's tubes that go all the way to the back. And on top of the transmission, where the speedometer goes into the transmission, there's two hoses there that, I forgot what it's called, I call it active steering. The steering ratio changes depending on what speed you're going. One of the hoses under there has a very small leak of power steering on it. Whoever put this hood on this car, they did not reattach the wiper water squirters. So you can't squirt the, the stuff. There's no hoses or anything. It's like they just swapped hoods and left them there. One of the bad parts about the hood, it has some white oxidation on it. The camera probably doesn't pick it up and we cleaned it today. But when the car's dry, if you don't wax it or, or wash it or whatever, you'll see in the middle, it gets white and it looks cracked. You could probably see some of the, what looks like cracks. It's, it's really strange. I think it's a gel coat and not a clear coat. I'm not sure. The car is lowered. It's static. The only bad part about it, it's not low, like the body doesn't scrape, but the exhaust does. Where that flange is up there in front of the catalytic converter, that's the part that will scrape. It's not that big of a deal unless you're going over a speed bump. It's supposed to have cruise control. It stopped working. The air conditioner stopped working. We're not sure if it's electrical or mechanical, like the compressor or this switch. The reason why we're not sure, this slider right here is not connected or it doesn't work. I don't know if the cable fell off or what. So I usually just reach under the dash and move the gear to hot or cold. 
Right now it's on cold because it's been summertime. When wintertime comes, we put it on hot and leave it there. As long as it's on recirculate, it won't actually like come out. But the fan does work for like the defroster and stuff. These cars came with a subwoofer in the center of the rear seat. This particular car has the speaker in there, but the amp is missing. These cars came with an amp behind the seat and it was it's supposed to be mounted right here, but it's not in this car. Whoever had this car before took it out, but, but the speaker is still in there. The speedometer is a little off. So let's say you're doing 70, it might say you're doing like 50 the speedometer thing is on top of the transmission and i can't seem to reach it we know how fast we're going based on what gear we're in and what rpm the car is running at headlights probably need to be sanded the clear coat isn't the best in certain areas there is a small dent here on the front left fender you can see where it, it doesn't line up right here there's a small dent on the door right here. This is all small stuff. Overall, this car is in great condition. It's really fun to drive. It's really fast. It's a real head turner. People are always taking pictures and waving and giving thumbs up. So you'd have to get used to that. And we're asking $4,000 or best offer. Come grab this thing. It's really awesome.